Hello, my dear students. I am your presenter, Edward Asante Ekufo. In this episode, we are looking at nature of heat and heat transfer. Of what heat energy is all about. In the 1600s and 1700s, or what is known as the Little Ice Age, Europe experienced very low temperatures. Keeping warm was very important, and as a result, many people devoted themselves to the study of heat. One result was the invention of machines that use energy to produce by burning fuel to do useful work. These machines freed society from its dependence on energy produced by people and animals. As inventors tried to make these machines more powerful and more efficient, they developed the science of thermodynamics, it's the study of heat energy, because their atoms are still moving. By the way of definition, heat is a form of energy. It is produced in an object due to continuous and rapid movement of its atoms and molecules hitting each other and other objects. When the temperature of a body increases, its atoms and molecules move faster. And when the temperature of a body falls, then the speed of its atoms and molecules reduces. For example, when you heat up a pan of water, the heat from the stove causes the molecule in the pan to vibrate faster, causing the pan to heat up. The heat from the pan causes water molecules to move faster and heat up. So when you heat something up, you are just making it molecule move faster. The law of conservation of energy, which states that energy cannot be created nor destroyed, but can be changed from one form to another. Since heat is a form of energy, this law also applies to heat. Therefore, heat cannot be created nor destroyed. Heat can be produced by converting some other form of energy. Heat can only be lost if it is transferred to some other object or converted to some other forms of energy.